INS Vikramaditya, the pride of the Indian Navy, is one of the two aircraft carriers operated by the Indian Navy. Along with its counterpart, INS Vikram, the two aircraft carriers extend the reach of the Indian Navy way beyond its shore. Very few countries in the world operate aircraft carriers. But why does India need two aircraft carriers? India has a long coastline of 7,500 kilometers. Indian fighter jets like the Sukhoi 30, Dassault's Rafale, the MiG, etc., have an average combat range of 550 kilometers from the respective bases as shown in the circle. This is barely enough to cover the vast ocean surrounding the subcontinent. Hence, a minimum of two aircraft carriers is always required for full protection. The Indian Navy is also constructing one more aircraft carrier called the INS Vishal as a backup. INS Vikramaditya is a modified Kiev class aircraft carrier. It was originally called Admiral Groshkov and entered service in 1991. But after the breakup of the USSR, the ship became too costly to be maintained by Russia. Hence, it was to be scrapped. But India saw an opportunity and offered to buy it with modifications. Interestingly, the ship by itself was offered for free. But modifications and refit that India requested made the Russians quote approximately 800 million US dollars. In 2004, by any standards, this was the cheapest price India would get anywhere to buy an aircraft carrier. Over the period of time and with a lot of delays, the ship was finally commissioned on 16th November 2013 at a ceremony held at Severovinsk, Russia. On 14 June 2014, the Prime Minister of India dedicated the carrier to the country. INS Vikramaditya has a length of 932 feet, which is equal to two football fields, a maximum breadth of 200 feet, and a displacement of 44,000 tons. It has 22 decks. INS Vikramaditya's main aircraft on deck is a Migoyan MiG-29 multi-role fighter. This aircraft was custom built for the Indian Navy. Only the Russian and the Indian Navy used this aircraft. The MiG-29K has a combination of low observable technology and advanced electronic warfare capabilities. The MiG-29K has a combat range of 850 kilometers. The INS Vikramaditya has a capacity to carry 26 of these planes. These planes take off self-powered in a 14-degree ski jump. There is also a 30-meter wide arrestor gears and three restraining gears. The Kamo Ka-31 NATO codename Helix is a Russian helicopter on board. This aircraft is uniquely made for India. It is used for early warning and control and anti-submarine warfare. These helicopters use coaxial rotors which operate in opposite directions, thereby removing the need for a tail rotor. The Ka-31 has a very powerful radar antenna which has a range of 500 kilometers and the radar image can be transmitted in real time to the aircraft carrier and adjoining friendly ships. There are 10 such helicopters operating out of the aircraft carrier. The INS Vikramaditya is conventionally powered by eight turbo pressurized boilers with four shafts and four geared steam turbines generating 180,000 horsepower. It can travel a maximum speed of 30 knots and has a range of 25,000 kilometers and an endurance of 45 days. It has a crew of 1,500 sailors. The ship's first line of defense is the 48 Barak 8 long-range SAMs loaded in VLS cells. These missiles have a range of 70 kilometers flying at Mark II speed. The ship also has four AK-630s closing weapon systems placed at different locations. The ship also has two lifts for transporting planes and helicopters. The Lizorop E is a combat system on board the ship. It has a capability to gather data from ship's sensors and data links and to process, collate and assemble comprehensive tactical pictures. The ship has multiple radars to track and guide aircrafts and missiles. INS Vikramaditya is the pride of the country. This aircraft carrier served as a learning for the Indian Navy to design its own aircraft carrier called INS Vikram which will be covered in another video. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.